Bird Calls, read by Mr. C, the teacher. And the buttons pushed by Mr. C, the teacher, as well. I show up in the spring with my reddish breast and like to pull worms from the ground. What bird am I? When I push this dark green button, I can hear what I say. Let's pull the flap and find out. Ah, it's a robin. So this bird is known as an American robin. After the snow is gone in early spring, you might see a bird with a bright red breast running or hopping on the lawn or in your garden. Now watch and if it tilts its head, get ready. The robin is looking for worms in the ground. When it sees one, it will dart forward, grab the worm and wrestle it from the ground. After it catches the worm, it will be gone in one gulp. Robins sing in the evening, but the morning is the best time to hear their song. Cheer up, cheerily, 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 cheer up. It makes you want to sing along. The robin's nest may be in a bush or tree. The nest is lined with mud and may have three or four beautiful sky blue eggs inside. When each baby robin is old enough to leave the nest, it will have a spotted breast. As it grows older, it will grow new breast feathers of robin's red. I look like a stone hidden on the ground and can fool you to keep my baby safe. What bird am I? Let's push the golden button and hear what it has to say. This bird is called a killdeer. A mother killdeer sits very still on the eggs in her nest, trying not to be seen. She looks just like a stone blending in with the ground. If you come too close, the stone will run away. The stone-colored killdeer sometimes drags a wing on the ground, pretending to be hurt. She wants you to notice her so she can lead you away from her eggs. If you follow, she will fly up into the air and call her name over and over, killdeer, killdeer. The mother bird seems to be saying, I fooled you. A killdeer lays four spotted eggs that match the sandy soil where they are nestled. This helps keep them hidden. Baby killdeers look like fluffy brown cotton balls with legs. They can run right after they hatch. They follow their mother, picking up insects to eat. My feathers have stripes and I hunt at night as I silently fly through the woods. What bird am I? We'll push the purple button to hear what I say. Oh, it's an owl. A barred owl. A barred owl sits in an apple tree waiting for night. The owl's big brown eyes can see very well in the dark. Big eyes help an owl search for good things to eat. Big eyes also keep it from bumping into things in the dark. But the owl's eyes are so big they cannot move. The owl has to turn its whole head to see from side to side or behind itself. Barred owls fly on silent wings so the rats and mice they hunt do not hear them coming. But owls are not so quiet when they speak. They seem to say, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? <coughs> Barred owls often nest in holes and sometimes borrow the nests of hawks, squirrels, or crows. They lay two or three large white eggs. Fuzzy baby owls hatch out in late March or early April. The nest soon grows too crowded, so the young chicks move to a nearby branch. Baby barred owls beg loudly for their parents to feed them. 
I like to dance and kick in the leaves and add soft hair to my nest. What bird am I? Hmm, we'll push the orange button to here. Let's find out. Oh, here's this little bird here. What kind of bird is that? This bird is called an Eastern Toey. Have you ever thought you heard someone out your window singing, drink your tea? Look outside when you hear it and you may be surprised to see a little black, white and orange bird called an Eastern Toey. Toey might seem like an odd name for a bird until you hear it call, Toey. Toeys dance among the leaves, sometimes kicking them high into the air with both feet to find insects and seeds hidden underneath. Look carefully, you might see a toey flash its white outer tail feathers. The female lays four to six cream-colored eggs with brown speckles. She hides them in a nest of leaves, stems, and bark, and lined with grass and soft hair. The father toey will sometimes sit on the nest to help the mother. A toey can raise two or more broods, that's families, of babies in one season. If you get too close to a toey nest, the mother may fan out her tail to scare you away. I wear bright feathers of cherry red and like to sing a cheery song. What bird am I? Push the blue button to hear what I say. Let's see. This bird is called a northern cardinal. When you walk through the snow in winter, watch for colorful birds at the edge of fields or along the roadsides. You might see a bright red cardinal sitting in a snow-covered tree or bush. If you're lucky, you might also see a number of cardinals gathered in small flocks. Cardinals especially like bushes with berries or seeds. They use their big red beaks to eat the fruits and seeds and insects too. Male and female cardinals sing in early spring. They sound so happy when they seem to say, cheer, cheer, birdie, birdie, birdie. A cardinal nest is a deep cup made of twigs, weeds, bark, and little roots. It is lined with grass, moss, or hair, and is very hard to see. The three or four eggs are light green or blue, white with little red brown spots. Cardinals can have three or more broods in one season. The father feeds grubs and insects to the little birds, while the mother sits on the new eggs. I'm friendly, curious, and rather small, and I wear a black cap on my head. What bird am I? Push the yellow button to hear what I say. Let's take a look. Oh, this little bird. This little bird is called a black-capped chickadee. Even though chickadees are sweet little birds, they are brave enough to try to chase a hawk away from their nests. In winter, chickadees group together to search for food with other birds. Chickadees hunt for insects and love sunflower and other seeds. A chickadee says its name, chickadee dee dee. Chickadees are very curious and trusting. If you imitate their call, they may fly in closer to see what's going on. Many birds' nests are up too high in a tree to see, but not a chickadee nest. A soft old birch stump makes a perfect home. The chickadees make a hole with their beaks. Then the female weaves fine grasses, moss, and feathers to hold up to eight brown spotted white eggs. Chickadee chicks are plump. They eat so much, and they soon weigh as much, or sometimes even more, than their little parents. I live in marshes and show red patches on my shoulders when I fly. What bird am I? Press the red button to hear what I say. Let's see.
This bird is a red-winged blackbird. Before the last icicles melt, you can hear red-winged blackbirds singing in the spring. The males flash their red and yellow shoulder patches to show the females. Other males seem to fear the sight and stay in their own areas of the marsh. In winter, red-winged blackbirds gather in flocks. Some flocks are so big they spread out as far as you can see. The birds may settle in crop fields to feast on old grain. And when they return to the marshes, the males sing their loud conk a -dree. The female red... The female red-winged blackbird builds a nest of grass hidden in the reeds, and soon it will contain three or four blue-green eggs with dark blotches. When baby red-winged blackbirds hatch, the mother feeds them only insects, but she continues to eat seeds and grain. I'm plump and round and live on the ground, in fields and farms and meadows. What bird am I? Push the light green button and hear what I say. This bird is called a northern bobwhite. Who's calling bobwhite from the brushy field? It's a plump little bird called a northern bobwhite. Bob whites are quails that live on the ground and are well hidden by their markings. If you startle them, they will fly quickly up and away. In the fall, bob whites get together with other quail families to make a covey, a group of up to 30 birds. Smaller groups of 10 to 15 bob whites sleep closely together in a cozy circle with their tails in the middle. The female bob white lays from 12 to 16 creamy white eggs in a shallow cup on the ground, and then she covers the nest so it can't be seen. Right after they are born, baby bobwhites are on their feet, following their mother around. She shows them how to find insects, seeds, fruits, buds, and tender leaves to eat. <laughs>